Hi everyone, it's Sam with RetroTech here to tell you about our new Smart Claw. Uh, up close, it probably looks like a regular basic blower door cloth, but it actually has mechanical wind dampening built into it. Uh, and the way this works, we actually have tubing stitched into the cloth that branches off into two areas. And there's actually a place to plug your red tube uh, right here into the cloth. This cloth sets up the exact same way that our basic blower door cloth does. has the same Velcro tabs, the little pocket at the bottom, and of course the pockets here on the front to hold uh, your range plugs and any other devices you might have in your pocket that you wish to put in there to stay organized. Uh, the only difference is, is this uh, other tubing that's built in here. And again, like I said, the tubing from the outside comes out here. So instead of tossing your red tube to the outside, you just plug it into the cloth. So now there's no need to do the crawl of shame to uh, toss that hose to the outside. So if we look at this cloth from the outside of the house, you can see what I mean by the tubing and how it branches out uh, to collect our external reference reading. And if we get a close up here, you can actually see the tubing and how it bends around. And so it terminates here on one end and then branches around and terminates here at the bottom as well. So having those uh, two branches and the extra turns helps uh, dampen our windy conditions outside quite a bit, much more than just having uh, a tube outside that can be uh, completely exposed to the windy conditions. When we compare that just to the red tube that we toss outside, um, any effect of the wind that that one tip of the red tube feels is reflected in our gauge. There's nothing there uh, to help slow down those effects of the wind. So for example, you could toss this out and it can be directly in the face of the wind, especially if you're testing on the windward side of the house. Um, so that way, um, when you get to those lower pressures of doing a multi-point test, uh, sometimes your software will time out on you or you won't be able to get the reading you need. And this is why we think it's important to add the mechanical dampening into that to help reduce the effects of wind in our blower door equation. And on rainy days like today, uh, when we use the, just a regular reference tube, we run the risk of tossing the end of that into a puddle like so, and now our test is completely ruined until we get that reference line cleaned out. If we do happen to get water in the tube, this is what can happen when we capture our baseline. You can see that it's reading negative 10 plus pascals uh, related to the inside, which isn't true, it's a calm day. When we get water built up in the end of our tubing, it creates a pressure and uh, will cause our entire test to be inaccurate. The way we have handled the effects of wind in the past is by taking a baseline reading, which is great, we should always do that. Um, mechanical dampening from the smart cloth will work with that part of the gauge in your blower door process. But what the mechanical dampening adds is that it slows down the effects of the wind before it gets to the gauge. So it'll give you a more stable baseline and it'll give you more of a stable reading uh, of the out outside conditions while you're running the test. So for example, if you're running a multi-point blower door test, uh, wind can be very challenging to deal with as you get to those lower pressures of 20 to 10 pascals. So what this will do is help you stabilize that by having two branches that curve and feed into one. It'll slow down those wind effects and allow you to uh, perform that test at those lower pressures. When we design tools at RetroTech, we try to incorporate as much design as we can that will reduce user error. And uh, that also went into uh, this product here. Um, when you set your blower door up using the smart cloth, your outdoor reference tube is going to be set up the exact same way every time. So one thing that we have always told customers is that you want to get uh, your outdoor reference tube out of the flow of the fan on the exterior and at least five feet away. Uh, now you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about anybody on your crew screwing that up. Um, it's always going to be out of the way of the fan. It's always going to be set up correctly to give you a proper outdoor reference reading every time. Another benefit of the smart cloth is that it eliminates the crawl of shame. So no, uh, no need to crawl through and throw that red tube off anymore. Uh, you just plug everything up from the inside and you're good to go. And if you're a Minneapolis user that hasn't yet upgraded to a RetroTech system, that's okay. 
the Model 3 will still fit right in this uh, canvas here and provide the exact same wind dampening benefits as it would to a Retrotech fan. And uh, that's one of the great things about Retrotech equipment is you don't have to upgrade all at once. Uh, the same thing with our manometer, it'll work with this fan as well. So you can upgrade your system uh, piece by piece if you choose to. Ideally, I would want to demonstrate this product by having two manometers, one using the smart cloth and one using the reference tube. But unfortunately today, I just don't have the windy conditions to do it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you a study that we did on a super windy day in Washington State where we collected data to show uh, how wind affected our tests using the smart cloth and the traditional red tube. So here we have Ben Walker. Uh, he's setting up everything for the uh, comparison test. That's a prototype of the smart cloth at the doorway. And uh, as you can see, the conditions are perfect to do this type of comparison between the smart cloth and the traditional red tube to the outside. Okay, well, we have the, the new kind of smart cloth that we're working on where the actual reference tubing to the outside is integrated into the cloth. Uh, we have this connection here that we have that's um, connected to the tubing that's running inside the cloth. It's kind of like a built-in wind dampening system. And then we also have the uh, traditional method of just running the red reference tube through the cloth to the outside. You know, just open, fully exposed to the wind out there. And then we have our DM32 here, set for one second time averaging, and we're just monitoring, you know what the bias pressure would be if we were about to do like a pre-bias or a post-bias test for an energy audit. And um, you can see channel A is hooked up to the traditional method, and channel B is hooked up to the new integrated tubing into the smart cloth. And, you know, I haven't even started really collecting data yet, but uh, you can really tell that uh, there's a significant difference between the two, really. So I think today it's about, um, the wind is 20 miles an hour, gusting to 27 at times, coming out of the southwest. I think we're on the southeast side of the building, so we're a little bit on the leeward side of the building. And um, I just have the data, there's a wind, there's a weather station on the roof here collecting the data at the same time that we're collecting this data. Um, for the pressure difference between inside and outside with these gusty conditions and uh, then we'll be able to correlate the data over the next hour as we collect the data and do the comparison really. So the results from this test were pretty incredible. Uh, as you can see, uh, the orange dots on this graph represent the new smart cloth data while the blue represents the traditional reference tube. And as you can see, the orange kept a much tighter pattern near zero pascals, while the blue had a much wider range and were all over the place because it was more affected by the wind, showing that the smart cloth does have quite a bit of impact uh, during windy days. So uh, this is definitely something that we were happy to see to show that yeah, the smart cloth does actually work. Um, but we're going to be uh, conducting a lot more tests like this. And uh, due to this uh, type of testing here, this is why we're happy to bring this product onto the market. Again, this is called the Retrotech Smart Cloth with integrated wind dampening. Uh, for more information, visit us at retrotech.com or give our sales team a call. Thanks for watching.